I can't let you get plugged. Alright, so boom, over the years we've seen some crazy tag team MMA battles, so it's only right for the people who done missed out, it's time to look back at some of the wildest moments in tag team MMA. I can't let you get plugged. It appears this brother's stomach been flapping in the wind for years, but it's a fuel tank filled with whip ass. He deep throated too many fists. We was focusing on the ground and pound when Mans was getting fucked up right in front of the hard camera. Mans got a tooth extraction with no dentist present. I hope he got insurance because he's going to need a new dental plan. Lisa needs braces. If they were going to spend that much time doing tag team battles, they should have did it on Raid Shadow Legends. Wait a minute, you've got a phone, right? Of course you do, you're probably watching this on your phone right now. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be playing Raid Shadow Legends right now. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. And the game can be played on PC. Whenever I play a game, I love to dive deep and learn all about the story of the world and its characters. And this game I'm going to talk about today has probably the deepest lore around. In Raid Shadow Legends, we get to delve into a dark fantasy world, undercover its tumultuous past, and learn the backstories of nearly 700 unique champions to the new players from the u.s raids prepared something special for you it's time to vote for your favorite starter champion simply enter your player id then vote for your chosen champion that's all there is to it and this vote runs from january 16th to february 10th with all eligible entrants being in with the opportunity to win awesome in-game and real life prizes including epic and legendary champions in-game items and even amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars once the vote ends on february 10th one champion will be crowned the winner and prize winners will be selected via draw don't worry if you're an existing raid player you can still get involved just head over to championselect.plarium.com where you can find a special promo code that everyone can use for a small in-game gift but wait there's more for new players use my link and you'll get a free starter pack you'll find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only and keep in mind raid shadow legends is completely free to play raids got something special happening now they've released a legendary champion based off mma legend ufc hall of famer ronda rousey and you can get ronda for free right now whether you're a new or long time player just by logging into raid all you've got to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and February 28th. And Rhonda's yours. That's it. That's all there is to it. To celebrate her arrival, you can use promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of useful in-game items to help her level up. Just enter the code in-game and all of the goodies will be sent straight to your inbox. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description and download Raid Shadow Legends right now. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Now with the odds stacked against them, it's a three on two handicap match. Come here. Damn, homie got knocked out cold. They beat him back into consciousness to make sure he knew that he lost. And like a pack of rabid dogs, they went after the last man. And according to league rules, when faced with a three to one disadvantage, the lone fighter is given the choice to either fight on his own or accept defeat. I quit. Well, damn, shouting from across the octagon, he's already conceded. Homie saw his mans get pieced up and beat up on top of a Monster Energy logo and decided through his peripheral vision that he does not want any part of that. We have you surrounded. Die! Help! Help! Police! Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to witness an Olympic sport for gang members. A sport sponsored and inspired by anime. If you ever wanted to see a group of individuals pull up together in unison, asking for the smoke only to get their ass whipped, this video is for you. I'm mad. Come here. Almighty push. These motherfuckers having the civil war in the octagon. Three on three. Tattoo poppies on the offensive. There's already a man on the ground. Does he have to pause if his man- OH SHIT IT'S A HANDICAP MATCH! You mean to tell me it could be two against one, three against one? What are the rules? People hitting the floor, getting back up like they respawn, and this dude in the red just got his eye busted open. I don't even know who the hell's in the lead. How do you even keep score? Red Short's been on the floor twice already. They gotta be losing because of him. It's back to three on three. Doctors gotta be getting paid overtime for this. You getting concussions by the six. The liability on the red team getting his ass whipped on the cage. I beg to differ. He hit him with a reversal. Meanwhile, on the other side of the octagon, 
It's a two-on-one assault. They getting fucked up together. White shorts are being outnumbered. One of their teammates been eliminated. Look at Tattoo Poppy in the red shorts. This man's the ultimate equalizer. Everybody he touches finds their way to the ground. Both men are down. What does this mean for their team? The referees call it. The match is over. I'm not even too sure what happened. When did their teammate get eliminated? One way or another, red team is victorious. There goes the eliminated party right there. What happened to him? And this dude was on the winning team, but he looked the worst out of every combatant. He the type of dude to do no work in the group project but still get an A. Let's go to the carnage in the instant replay. Within seconds, it was a two-on-one assault, and the liability on Team Red was getting his ass whipped. Despite the fact White Shorts had terrible accuracy, you can tell the dude in the red has no business being in here. There's the MVP of the match, Tattoo Poppy, on the Red Shorts. Despite the fact he barely touched his opponent, somehow they always found their way to the floor. <laughs> Wait a minute, did the red team's liability just connect on a punch? But White shorts here ain't no slouch either in the fight he was taking on two red shorts by himself but look at the follow-up right here <laughs> grounded that man look at him looking up at his opposition like where the fuck did you come from but here's where my level of confusion increases how is it that he just gets up as if it's nothing why can his opposition not continue to whip his ass even if you can't give somebody the ground and pound in this competition you could at least wait there for them to stand up and then whip their ass again what the hell are the rules? But what do you know, upon further review and a shocking turn of events, it was the man who looked the worst who had the final two-piece to win the fight. I take my criticism back. He's no liability. Finish him. To make matters worse, he got two-piece straight into Tattoo Poppy's penis. That's what actually knocked him out. Imagine taking two punches to the head and the next thing you know, you got somebody's appendage and ball sweat in your mouth. I too would lay on the floor defeated. That's the ultimate L. And we still don't know what happened to this dude. How did he get eliminated? By the looks of his mannerisms and his face and his wide eyes, it's safe to say this brother is heavily concussed. But when did it happen? Let's go back to the beginning of the fight. He's white shorts in the middle and it looked like he did a football stunt blitz in order to ground Tattoo Poppy. This is amazing. Look at it in slow motion. He fakes going forward. He feints out to the right and then he takes a beeline to Tattoo Poppy. Talk my dick. Afterwards, he fight Tattoo Poppy one on one. Fuck out of here. Shit, Tattoo Poppy threw this man out of frame. Although he missing every single haymaker. Now the handicap match started. Maybe it was two on one that eliminated him. He's laid out on the ground. Me thinks not. And as you can see, I am not dead. He back on his feet and he dropped Tattoo Poppy again. Hold on, he got eliminated first, but he was whipping everybody ass. Surprise, motherfucker. Tattoo Poppy came back with a vengeance, but he fighting somebody else. Now die! Ah! Eliminated. It must have been at this moment because you can see Red Shorts pulling his punches. Damn, he turned his back on his family. Dominic Toretto could never. To make matters worse, he got eliminated within the first 30 seconds. Nevertheless, 15 seconds later, the fight would come to a conclusion. Finish him. My dick. It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Game over, man. Game over. I guess not. You lose. And there goes the battle. Can I ask you a question? Tell said, fuck them okay, niggas. tell I will tell I niggas. will tell them you said that. All jokes aside, this dude gonna need a medic. Eyebrows is now gonna be extended for the rest of time. Got that shit looking like parentheses. Remember, PEMDAS, kids. Somebody get Theodore Long on the phone. We got another five on five, ten man tag team tornado match. In the blue, you have the soldiers of Poland. In the black, the child of Madaraj. But the games begin. I'm mad. <laughs> Straight out the gate, hands being put on everybody. Poland already got three of their combatants on the floor. Pelvis in this man's face. One man trying to keep his feet. Wait a minute. Look at this man's eye. He's already been lacerated. It's only been six seconds. You would think this would give him a disadvantage, but his teammate always got his back. <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from? And just when you thought Russia would jump out in front, one of their combatants is taking a ground and pound on the right. To make matters worse, another one of their teammates getting strangled with a guillotine, he'd have to tap out. It's gonna be five versus four. Advantage Poland. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Come here. It was about to be a three on one, but it only took two to whip this man's ass. <laughs> The handicap match came to an end, but the damage was already done. He's getting a lesson in Russian nutrition. You don't get no additional proteins, only fist. Die! 
Russia would be down to three, but this man tapped out to a goddamn R bar. Five to two. Since when Poland had hands like this, Russia getting their asses whipped. I haven't seen them in this much disarray since the USSR fell. Somebody check on Vladimir Putin. He tried to use the escape rope, but forgot you can't use it in battle. One dude choking him, another one punching him, another dude kicking him. So now it's five on one. Look at this man. Man's face looked like Abe Lincoln after he ran into John Wilkes in a booth. His eye got so much blood upon his exit from the venue, he got into another scuffle with a gang of Crips. The final Soviet would be eliminated. Poland wins five to zero. Complete utter domination poland don't even look like they've been in the fight in fact they look like they just got out of bed meanwhile for russia they look like they just been freed after 18 months of torture as prisoners of war how the whole team in unison get fucked up look at these polish motherfuckers menacing savage treacherous dangerous murderers the russians thought because the soviets took the w against poland in world war ii meant they'd get a w in the 21st century the lie detector determined that was a lie Come here. <laughs> Bitch. Don't run, nigga. I see you. Help me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Son of the bitch. The moment there was two people left, it done turned into a gang initiation on the ropes. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! Get up. Damn! Oh, my God! Somebody stop this! Oh, my God! Look at the carnage! It looks like they've been in a car wreck! Turn out of this! Somebody stop the damn man! Enough's enough! Good God! Good God! That's it, he's dead! And I have never seen it in 25 years this much carnage! Flying all around us. This is unbelievable. Somebody got a doctor out here. Don't just stand there. Get a doctor out here right now. EMTs, get him out of here. Oh my God. What did we just see? in hell for what he did here tonight. That just makes me sick. Face. How in God's name can that human being be from this planet? How many? Does he have no conscience? Does he have no heart? Do you have no soul? You son of a bitch. Do you realize what you just done? Mother Russia must have put these five up for adoption because they can't be her children. They had a better chance sending Black Widow and Red Guardian. This man's gonna need a medic. Somebody please call the goddamn EMT. You lose. You brought shame upon yourself and your family. Death or exile? The answer to both questions is yes. Kill them all. Kill them all. You're no longer Russian, are you? I guess not. We got New Yorkers in the ring. Time to represent for the USA. Come here. Ah. I'm gonna break his neck. Die. I quit. I quit. Well, damn, that New Yorker tapped out. It hasn't even been 10 seconds. They must have imported these five from the Bronx. To make matters worse, they're fighting against Latvians. They don't stand a chance. I quit. I quit. It's already a five on three battle. Hiya. Help me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Son of the bitch! New York hasn't been fucked like this since the stock market crashed. Latvia wiping the floor with them. Literally. Stop hitting me! Ha! Stop! He's already dead! Help me! This is the embodiment of how other countries would like to treat America. Imagine being caught in a rear naked choke all while being punched and kicked in the face. They getting mauled out there. It's five on one. There's no more defense. You getting jumped legally. Victory is mine. Somehow the New Yorkers had enough strength to congratulate the Latvians on their victory. It's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. It's not a threat. It's a guarantee. I'm not just sure. I'm HIV positive that these brothers clearly got internal bleeding. I'm all for competition, but I could never fathom booking a flight with my friends to go get fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, just when I thought this tag team MMA battling was just a one-off, turns out Sweden and Poland had a five-on-five -five competition. Let the games begin. Die! My heavens, what a beginning. It's like the Avengers versus Thanos and his army. Within the first 10 seconds, we're yet to see any kind of handicap matches. But why are the ropes being held up by unused tires? Player one has been eliminated. Bitch. 
four on five in favor of Poland. Sweden don't got no fighters. Why they getting their ass whipped? Every single one of their combatants are on the floor. They stomping this dude out. This other dude getting a ground and pound by two people. Looks like Poland has had enough of being made fun of for the first country being eliminated in World War II. Every single one of the Swedish combatants are getting eliminated. Sweden down to one man. It's five on one in the middle of the ring. Please. Show some mercy. I guess not. Not anymore, there's not. Within 45 seconds, Sweden got absolutely obliterated. Homie getting up like he just woke up from a nap. What the hell are they feeding people in Poland? Why the hell are they so angry? Look at the instant replay. They came out foot swinging. But within seconds, all the Swedes were on the floor. Poland said these hands are rated E for everybody. Meanwhile, this dude got stomped out into elimination. How every single competitor for Sweden got eliminated in different ways this dude controller must have shorted because it was wildin he didn't know what to do this man was trying to escape from the ring only to run into the tires and he saw his defeat was inevitable look at it in slow motion hitman lee hit him with a low kick and then he proceeded to think he could escape him with speed the minute he turned his head around he was surprised <laughs> Why did Sweden choose these five to represent them? And look in the background, as he's getting escorted out of the ring, there's five people whipping his teammates' ass. Victory is mine! This might be the easiest work Poland may have done in their life. I ain't never seen a country get their ass whipped in under a minute. Straight out the gate, there's already two Swedes on the floor. Man's on the right, avoiding all kinds of Polish punches, but he can't land one himself. I ain't seen accuracy this bad since that dude accidentally shot himself in a gun range not even 10 seconds into this fight we've got three swedes on the floor this man here tapping every button on the controller to escape a submission hold but his man's on the corner getting the ground and pound that would lead to the very first elimination not only was this man getting the beats by dre several months before christmas on the ground he had to inhale the stench of used tires while it was happening how you take three l's within the first 15 seconds to make matters worse look at the camaraderie in l Two Swedes are getting their ass whipped by three Polishmen in the exact same location. Bad Boys must have been their favorite movie. Another Swede man just found the floor, and then we know the dude in the back, he's the one getting eliminated next. Poland had these dudes on their back faster than a rebellious 18-year-old at the Brazos headquarters. Each combatant getting their ass whipped by the ground and pound, and now, Toros, you stomp. <laughs> It's a critical hit. Homie on the floor must love anal gaping because he's being double fisted right now. Let me slow this all the way down for you to see what happened. Look at homie on the left. He stared at the referee in an effort to ask, do you want to end this or not? The ref said, I don't give a shit. So he proceeded to continue to whip the Swede's ass on the ground. Just keep your eye on the left of the screen. This the same dude getting double fisted for the last 10 seconds. Referee never stopped it. He said, I want to see this man get destroyed. What does this referee have against Sweden? Why did he let it last this long. Now look at the far right. This choke job was sponsored by the Atlanta Falcons. Put that brother to sleep. And now the ground and pound was finally called off by. Let me put this into perspective for you. You see the brother right in front of us who's going to straight to the ground. Look at the referee. That's the very one that we just said allowed the Swedeman to get his ass whipped. He started getting double fisted at 21 seconds. He finally got tapped out by the referee at 36 seconds. For 15 seconds, this man was getting his ass whipped on the ground and this ball-headed referee let it happen even after it became one dude whipping his ass look at the referee on the left hand side he woke up this morning and told the swedes i want to see y'all lose they changed the camera angle to make you forget only to go back and showcase he finally ended it whatever this man medical bill is the ref better pay it at this point with two people remaining one of the swede men were already dead he's getting carried out and then it became a five on one but pay attention to what trans inspired before they called the fight the last man standing for sweden was getting destroyed by two people here came the third with a kick straight to his noggin if you were curious why this man got up at the end of the fight as if he woke up out of a nap this is exactly what put him into that dream state imagine getting your ass whipped and then one of your opposition decides to put his toe in your mouth that's exactly what just happened and i didn't even notice this until just now but the same man the referee allowed to get 
his ass whipped for 15 seconds. He didn't even come to his senses before the fight was over. Sweden didn't stand a chance. Look at man's on the floor laying there like a deceased dolphin. Out there looking like an uneaten piece of shrimp that fell underneath the table. If Sweden needed somebody to represent the country, they could have called on Greta Thunberg. Just look at this man's face. Look at his body language. He don't know where he is. Who knew Poland produced killers like this? I had no clue. I know where I'm not going on vacation. I'd rather head out to Sweden where if I get into a skirmish or a brouhaha, I could walk away with a victory. Mess around and bump into the wrong person in Poland, you gonna wake up in an unmarked grave. To make matters worse for Sweden, how the hell you get your ass whipped and you gotta exit in the same location as your opposition? There better be a fight breaking out by the time they make it to the locker room. They got the nerve to call themselves wise men, but they weren't looking too smart when they was laying on their back getting their ass whipped by the LPH. Alright, so boom. Before we had three on three, then we had five on five, but this time we've got a four on four gauntlet match. When talking about survival of the fittest, it don't get no better than this. Just imagine being on the team having to watch your teammate get they ass whipped and you can't do shit but wait for your turn. Let the games begin! Welcome! Punch! God damn, left hand had this man ready to regroup. He talking to his teammates like we gotta rework the plan. Taking a haymaker was not in the strategy. Oh shit. He try his best to recover, but this man is clearly in danger. He's attacking more oxygen than smokers. It's only a matter of time before he gets sent to the upper room. Finish him! Game over. Eliminated! Score is 4-3. to three. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Every single attack this man is dishing out is either missing or getting blocked. Fucking kick! It's as if the opposing team sent out the final boss as the first fighter. Homie must be overpowered. He took zero damage against the first two fighters. Come here. Not today. I broke my back. Bro back is broken. Spinal. You lose. He eliminated. Wait a minute. He eliminated 50% of the team by himself. He wiped the floor with the first dude with two knockdowns. Turned his opponent from a professional fighter into a gardener at Home Depot. And then when homie's mans tried to take up for his honor, he too was punished. Every single punch or strike was blocked or missed. This man couldn't hit a target if he worked that target. He must have graduated magna cum laude with a PhD in MC Hammer studies. This man can't be touched. He must have pressed down X, right, left, right, R1, right, down, up triangle, and got infinite health. Back to back eliminations for this man. He's laughing at them. Avenge me. Avenge me. I will. I'll kill this man. Now die. Eat a dick, nigga. I'm tired as much. <laughs> oh, Shit was looking sweet a second ago. Now he too is getting his ass whipped. His tag team partner looking like he trying to jump in. You better wait your turn to get this ass whipping. He's literally toying with him. Stupid. Come here. He's looking at him like. What's wrong? Where's your strength? Where is your pride? He already broke his spirit. Finish him. Game over. Oh lord, this man is jeering. He eliminated three by himself and said, I've had enough. Let me tag in my partner. After watching the second man go down, you would have thought the third was going to avenge him. He connected on a right hand and then proceeded to get his ass whipped. I think the final boss allowed himself to get hit so we can believe he was human. Imagine pulling up to a fight with your friends and y'all all get your ass whipped by the same person. What kind of creative character shit is this? This man done won the cell games by himself. Honestly, if this became a handicap match, I got my money on this dude. He's like El Chapo in a game of Escape the Room. He can't be beat. Oh yeah! Look at you! You was popping all that good shit a second ago! You eat a dick, nigga! You eat a dick! If my whole team get their ass whipped by one man, ain't nobody gonna be eating in the locker room. Final round, fight! With the final boss finally taking a seat, the underboss would step in. Wait a minute! How the whole team overpowered? Help me! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can we talk about this? I guess not. Die! Jesus! Come here! Show some mercy! Was he made in Dr. Jarreau's lab? Was he programmed to kill this man? Don't you dare touch me! Stand back! Fucking kick! Jesus. Homie 
can't even breathe. Help! Police! Help! Police! He been on defense damn near the whole fight. This man is a prisoner of war while not even being held captive. You gotta defeat this motherfucker and three other people at his power level. No offense is working. Gotcha, bitch. Gun, gun. Gun, gun. Please! Whoever controlling this man's character need to activate some cheat codes, cause this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see you. You son of a bitch! Please, 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 no. It's not me. They're trying to neuter me. Ah! It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh my god! Somebody stop this! Finish him! to Betsy their whole team got swept and to make matters worse each loss was worse than the one before it the last one was an ass whipping for damn near 90 straight seconds there better be nobody speaking in the car ride back home y'all all got your asses whipped and to two people at that the two combatants who didn't even participate on the winning team we don't even know how dangerous they are perhaps we haven't even seen their final form I spent my entire life not believing the fantastic four was real but yet here they are in a spartan battle the whole team got squashed like a roach or centipede trying to run to the other side of the room during a tap dancing rehearsal i understand the fight game is the hurt business seldom do you have a situation in which people can leave this game unscathed but never in my life have i seen an entire team get they ass whipped back to back to back to back this is some shit straight out of anime whoever their trainer is needs to be fired castrated and hung there is no possible way to recover from this this is like live streaming the taping of your sex tape only to come up with erectile dysfunction get the whole team to the pokemon center every single one of them is gonna need a medic and while you at it call in will smith utilize the neuralizer because he's not gonna want to remember this somebody please go to goddamn emt ah! that is my turn ah! You better have insurance! Ass whooping insurance! And welcome to your first day in the afterlife. You got your ass whooped tonight. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! And become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm.